<laughs> you know, baseball season officially began today in Japan with our own Oakland A's playing the Seattle Mariners. There goes Sue and Lisa to the bathroom. The most important element to starting the season right is the national anthem. But sometimes a bad anthem can pretty much ruin a perfectly good game. So according to Deadspin.com, here are the five worst national anthems ever. Number one on the list, Steven Tyler, 2012 AFC Championship game. He's a little pitchy, dog. Game Boston and they're booing him. Not cool. Number two on the list, probably one of the greatest pop singers that we have in this nation, Christina Aguilera, 2011 Super Bowl. She kind of messes up the lyrics. Yikes, and she's making some really ugly faces. That's not going to help you. Uh, next one on the list, Michael Bolton in 2003. So if you forget the lyrics, maybe you should do the Palin thing. <laughs> he wasn't even trying to hide it. <laughs> next on the list... It's probably a lot of folks think it's the worst one, but I'm like, give the girl a break. It's 1990. It's back in San Diego. It's Roseanne Barr. Take a listen. Okay, see, the reason why she's not the all-time worst, because she wasn't trying to sing. The all-time worst is probably the greatest Olympic athlete ever, but he's the worst singer in the world. Carl Lewis, 1993, in Chicago. Absolute worst. Oh. time worst national anthem ever. I will say, though, I would never sing that song because it's really hard to do. For more information, go to GoodDaySacramento.com. Oh click on show info and uh, grab some throat coat tea and man up because you're singing the national anthem. I'm surprised that you wouldn't do it. Since you're a singer. singer. It's super Don't hard. Don't we have video of you singing? Uh, yeah, but it's super hard to sing that song. I would never be in that spot. <laughs> okay. That's your manly minute, ladies. Thank okay, you. Okay, minutes. Thanks. 948.